Imagine standing before a towering ancient fort, its imposing walls whispering tales of sieges and battles long past. What secrets do these silent sentinels hold about the art of ancient warfare and defense? First, consider the mighty walls themselves. In the annals of fortification, the walls were not just barriers, but strategic masterpieces. Constructed from locally sourced stone or sun-baked bricks, these walls often reached impressive heights, some towering over 20 feet tall and equally as thick. Builders adapted their techniques to the local environment, using materials that would not only endure, but also blend with the surrounding landscape. This formidable thickness served a dual purpose, deterring direct assaults and withstanding prolonged sieges. Moreover, the outer surfaces were often sloped, a technique that downward some of the energy from projectiles like arrows and stones, reducing their impact. Integrated at intervals along the walls were robust watchtowers, enabling guards to monitor the horizon and coordinate defenses more effectively. These fortifications have a storied history. For instance, the walls of Constantinople withstood numerous assaults during the siege of 1453, demonstrating remarkable resilience and strategic design in ancient military architecture. Next, we delve into the cunning design of gatehouses. Gatehouses were the main entry points, but far from welcoming, they were fortified with multiple defense mechanisms. Portcullises, heavy grills made of iron or wood, could be dropped swiftly to block the entry, trapping attackers inside. Murder holes positioned above the entrance allowed defenders to attack the trapped enemies with arrows, hot oil or boiling water, turning the gatehouse into a deadly trap. Moats encircle many ancient forts, serving as watery graves for the ambitions of many attackers. These wide, deep trenches filled with water were not merely obstacles, but psychological barriers, instilling a sense of isolation and vulnerability in those who dared to cross. Some moats were also concealed traps with wooden spikes, and during winter the surface could be deliberately frozen to make crossing treacherous. Arrow slits, narrow vertical openings in the walls, allowed defenders a wide angle of fire while offering minimal target area to outside attackers. These slits demonstrated an ingenious understanding of angles and trajectory. Archers could fire arrows, safely ensconced behind the thick walls, with only a minimal exposure to enemy fire, this feature turned walls into bristling barriers of defense, where a handful of archers could hold off a significantly larger force. Lastly, the strategic use of battlements or crenellations on the top of the walls provided soldiers with intermittent cover. These alternating high and low sections of the wall enabled defenders to shield themselves during reloads and attacks. The raised sections or merlins protected them as they aimed and fired while the lower sections or crenels allowed them to launch attacks. In summary, the security features of ancient forts, robust walls, deceptive gatehouses, deterring moats, strategic arrow slits, and protective battlements, were not merely about strength and intimidation. They reflected a deep understanding of both engineering and psychological warfare, turning these structures into near-impregnable bastions that stood the test of time and war. Through these features, ancient forts tell us stories of human ingenuity and the perpetual quest for survival.